On our way down for breakfast. <laughs> coffee, good coffee. Very good, thank you. So what's going on here? You guys are planning your walk. Well, we don't want to. Via, they're going to go on the yeah. El Camino. El Camino, and no. they've got their maps, and they're going to walk into town to the cathedral and meet the rest of us there. So, you walking? walking? Good for you. There's a lot of people going to walk. Where are you going? We are going to, on the walk, the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. We are headed to the cathedral, and uh, so we can have mass later on. We have got, fun. We're going to take some pilgrims with us. Have we'll fun. See you there. See you. Have a good time. Good day. Boy, we only need two buses to go in today. When can go? <laughs> El Camino walkers. We're going to try. When you get home and they ask you, say, we did it. And they ask how far, say, we don't remember. <laughs> This is our guide on a red bus, Montserrat. That was a good bit of traffic, but it didn't hold us up, and we saw everything we wanted. Here's the last of the archway doorways into the walls of Santiago, the last existing one. And it's raining, and so a lot of people have their umbrellas out. And here's a pilgrim, happy statue, happy to arrive in Santiago. I live here. Brother, this is the feminine order of St. Francis. We just arrived here at the parking lot. Here comes a third bus there. And we're now walking to the cathedral. Archbishop's Palace. Our Archbishop lives there. Today is not a, yeah, it's raining, but usually. Here is the ending point of the pilgrimage. As you see, a pilgrim here looking at the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. We took our group into the museum, but there's no pictures allowed, so you'll just have to imagine what we saw. This is the line to go up behind the front altar and you embrace the apostle with the big statue of St. James and people go up and hug him. And I'll do that in just a minute up this line. Very soon our bishop will be celebrating mass right underneath there is St. James. So we'll give him a hug. Soon the bishop will be having mass right down there. entering the tomb, the sepulchre of Saint Jacobi, the glorious Saint James the Great. This is his tomb, his bones are, this is what makes this place Santiago, Saint James, so famous. 
John Paul II was here. Here we see the two bones of St. James. Just a moment ago, I went up to embrace the apostle. That's it, right there. I was right behind there. It looks small from here, but that's where I was, giving him an embrace from behind, looking down at the place where we're gonna have mass with the archbishop celebrating right here in less than an hour. There's our group starting to gather over on that side. So we can see the boda Fumero as it swings. There it is right there. And it's gonna swing back and forth. Hey, Cooper, Kay, Parker, Seamus. Happy birthday, we, we love you. Miss you guys. We've arrived at the uh, Church of Santiago de Compostela and um, we're uh, preparing for the Mass. So our, our uh, pil pilgrims have the opportunity to learn a little bit about uh, this historic church. And uh, we look forward, uh, it's All Souls Day, look forward to celebrating Mass and to praying for those uh, who have gone before us, signed with, uh, with faith, uh, and commending them uh, to the Lord's mercy.
Everybody scattered for lunch around Santiago de Compostela. I put these pictures up to show you there's no place that has seafood like this right on the Atlantic Ocean. The seafood is unbelievable. And the shell, the pilgrimage shell, is because people used to travel to the Atlantic, get a shell, and take it back home. And that's why the shell became a sign of pilgrimage. So we had everybody free for the afternoon, so I'm going to just show you some of the things I saw, some of the people I saw of our group walking around just enjoying themselves on this beautiful afternoon. Oh, and by the way, here's a pilgrim who's just come in on the El Camino walking through the courtyard below the restaurant. Well, we would like to say hello to some of our pilgrim friends. From, different, from uh, Footsteps of St. Paul. Yes, uh, Donette and Rich Jablonski, hello. Monica and John Jackson, hello. And Stan and Camille Chardon, hello. we'd like to say hello to you as well. Um, and then from our uh, Holy Land pilgrimage of five, six years ago, uh, Anthony and Sharon, hi. Yeah. And Marianne Galino, hello. And also Tom Safayo. Tom Safayo. And Teresa. Teresa. Teresa Safayo. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we've made a lot of friends going on is, your trips. This is our fifth pilgrimage and we've made some Lots wonderful of good friends. friendships. Absolutely. So thank you and hi to all. Yep. <laughs> More pilgrims arriving on the El Camino. One of the funnest things coming here to Santiago is seeing all these people who have walked hundreds and hundreds of miles hiking along the El Camino who have finally arrived and they're so glad to be here in Santiago finally. <laughs> Welcome! Look at all the backpacks and people who have hiked here and they finally arrived at the cathedral here at the Bones of St. James in Santiago de Compostela. They're so happy to finally have arrived. I'll tell you what some of our group did today. In fact, uh, Father Dave Korth from your area there, he led the charge today. They left early in the morning and they walked from our hotel three miles on the El Camino to the cathedral. So about 50 of our people, that's one third of them, got up extra early this morning and they took off in the rain, no less. And they walked all the way from our hotel three miles over the hills and mountains down to the cathedral. And they just said it was a marvelous experience that they had. Uh, and they're going to say that we walked the El Camino. And when somebody says, how, how far did you walk? They're going to say, well, we aren't for certain how far it was, but we got to the cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> we have Kristen here. She said she'd say hello to you.